I'm Dr. Natasha Prabhu. Today we'll learn more about polycystic ovarian disease. So this has become an epidemic. One in every 10 women have PCOS. So what are the most common symptoms with which people come to OPD? One is that irregular periods. Some people have no periods or they come after a very long time. Some people have increased bleeding. Some have prolonged bleeding. So a lot of irregularities in periods. Some people have infertility, others can have acne, hair loss, increased hair growth on the face or body, some even have hoarseness of voice. So these are the symptoms with which the people come. Some people don't have symptoms at all. So they are incidentally detected. So why do we have to learn or know about PCOD? Because not only menstrual irregularities, these people have almost six-fold increased chances of endometrial cancer. Along with that, these people are more at risk of having metabolic conditions like increased sugars or diabetes, increased blood pressure, lipid changes and a lot of other metabolic factors. So as a result of which, we have to know and find out about polycystic ovaries. So how do we know? whether we have polycystic ovaries or no. So there are diagnostic criteria which are called as Rotterdam's criteria. Second, when you do blood test or you have clinical features of increased male hormone. And third, you do an ultrasound and you can find out the ovaries are polycystic or there are a lot of cysts in the ovaries.